My name is Jason Masters, predominantly a comic book artist. I work as an illustrator as well, doing commercial art for advertising, but uh, in the last few years mainly uh, drawing things like Batman, Nightwing, Batwoman, doing some things with X-Men, Wolverine, things like that. Being a fan of comics as a kid and drawing them as a kid, especially in the early days, you'd have to go to like corner cafes. So finally get to draw and get paid to draw something that you've loved for so long. You know, it's pretty damn exciting. Well, starting my career in, in, in advertising and illustration for commercials, I had to adapt to different styles quite a lot. So, so for me, learning to draw in different styles was quite important. And I mean, so even now, I feel like I'm trying to adapt to the stories. Uh, not always successfully, but I do try to. So the most recent thing I've drawn is Wolverines, which is a story about Wolverine's friends now that Wolverine's died and what they're doing to fill up the space that's left behind by his death. And I think I like it because I got to explore some art styles that I hadn't done before, do something a little bit different, a little bit new, and hopefully not get fired by trying something new. So yeah, a few years ago, one of my local uh, local comic um, shops, Cosmic Comics up in Joburg, brought a American artist, Ethan Van Sciver, out. Uh, to do a signing. He's, he's a very big deal, really great artist and being the needy illustrator that I am I brought a portfolio with to show him because I require validation from people who I think can draw and yeah I showed him some stuff and he, he liked what I drew. Said he'd show some stuff to his editor. I didn't think anything was going to happen from it but I was hopeful and then about six months later I got uh, an email from his, his editor, um, a guy called Ben Abernathy who works for DC and, and he asked like, would I like to draw some comics for DC. I think if anything the thing I like the most about my career is the fact that it proves that it's possible for anybody to do it. Just a, some silly white kid from Joburg who decided he likes to draw comics and now I, I am and I'm making money doing it. Anybody can do it and with the way the world is at the moment with the internet, you can get exposure. And if you're good enough, you'll get attention. If you're not good enough, keep drawing. You will get good enough and somebody will notice you and make product. Just write stories, get together with friends, make something. It's been a very white male dominated industry for a long time and as a white male I enjoy seeing creative work from other people and I think that that's happening now and it's proving to people who didn't think before that they could do stuff that they can. I think the guys doing the independent comics are doing a great job writing their own stories with the South African perspective. Really good things and there's a lot of guys making their way into international work now which is it's about time. Yeah, they're finally getting some notice which is great.